Um, I'm going to let you start. You want to start off? Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, because yeah. I was, because I told Chief, I finally got a chance to listen to all of this. Okay. Because I only got a chance at the time, I only got a chance to listen to two songs. So I said, you know what, I'm going to listen to this. Because I realized it was a whole sentence. You're the only person that I can truly see, that I've truly heard, that actually actually has been successful in doing this. Like, and it's, it, it's, it's almost to the point where I was sitting there like, yo, this motherfucker actually made a whole bunch of records, and they all mean one sentence. Mm. I'm making beat tapes with that whole idea, but everything is backwards because I'm ass backwards when it comes to that shit. So I, so I understand. So it's like, let me see what this guy does. Track the track. This is cool. I can fuck with this. I'm an old nigga, but shit, yeah, this shit is alright. <laughs> I can fuck with yeah. this. You felt he was on to something? No. <laughs> no, it's not that I felt that he was on to something. It's just that it's just that I've seen certain MCs try that. And they it's okay, but it's not like that. It's like you get the whole idea from the title of the rec from the title of the record. I already know what I'm what I'm supposed to see, so I already put myself in that 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 that, that frame of mind. Like, okay, there's gonna be some weird kid shit. And I'm used to that, so let's get on with. Let me listen to this shit. Oh, he's got this whole shit in his sentences. Okay, this shit better be good, cause I'm a bad critic. God tells niggas straight up, yo, that shit is whack. You gotta try better, man. That shit right there, yes. That right now is in my top ten. Right now. I will say that. Go take two career. If you you know, yeah, we talk about one beat and everything slow. Mm -hmm. and that's only thing that killed it to me. You think so? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I know so. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh, the only song that stood out to me was "Only One Time" against Dr. Dr. Nickel. It was different. Now, I, I just feel like with that record, if you listen to the freestyles, like I said, sometimes titles can t are mis uh, mis misleading. Yeah. His isn't too much. Yeah. His isn't at all. But certain certain songs like like I take the Go Take for example that took me to a Rockefeller time like I like like that whole that whole state of mind of just growth how it feels to be how it feels to be almost liberated in a sense because I have my own shit uh, when I listen to that I just feel like he's bringing forth this movement of people that's never been accepted in the, in the eyes of hip hop and that and that's a true factor and that's a true factor. Because I've seen, I've seen yes. how many people at a time. Oh, now y'all love De La Soul. Y'all was in love with De La Soul with three feet high. Thank you, thank you. Let's fucking go. So, 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 so let's let's really get into it. So much. Y'all yeah. motherfuckers wasn't listening to Jungle Brothers. Y'all motherfuckers Ooh, was listening to Only Love. Half y'all motherfuckers didn't even know she ain't from this country, nigga. <laughs> what you talking about? What you talking about? Y'all yeah. yeah, niggas wasn't oh. listening to Common Sense when he was in the source and I knew who he was. When well, he was now, a relative, you know, he was, was a relative, now. I told this nigga, like, nobody knew I mean, about I feel like, in like, certain aspects, some people call me the encyclopedia because I just was reading, I just love to read. Mm -hmm. But, when I listen to his album, that's where it puts me at. It puts me in that place where I was sitting when I was a kid, and I'm listening to fucking Red Alert, and I'm like, yo, I want to do something different, I'm about to do some shit on this fucking piece of shit, duct tape mix. And I'm just like, yo, I want to make my own shit. It made the weird kids feel accepted. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about that. Woo! So I salute you, sir. Okay. And, and I need you back on the show because at a time I was on the wrong shift. So mm -hmm. now we on the right shift. I need you back up there. I need a couple folks back up there. Up there. Sunday. I need you back up there too, bro. We need yeah, to talk. We need, no. we need to talk. Sunday. To, we need to it's talk. Sunday. Sunday night. Because that fucking guy right there, this guy, this guy, Crisis, man. I, I didn't know he had some records that, like, some beat tapes. He, I just, he's special. So, no, he's a little, di he's a little different. Who's from it? Night. Crisis. Crisis. Oh, oh, nice oh, yo, and Chris, I wish Chris was here because he's talking. I told brother, you about that question. I don't mean to be commercial for a second. Did you listen to the new little brother record? Oh, yeah. Five. Yeah, Five. classic. Five. Classic. But I will say this. Five. Blackness. Five. But I will say this though. The only turn off for me is because that sounds like the get back, left back. It do. It don't sound like the first two. No, no, no. no. But that no. was dope too. No, 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 no. But what I'm saying is, it, because the whole element is when people said Little Brother had an album, the first thing people think about, oh, nice, nice all these back. niggas is back. Nice is back. Yeah. But you know what? I didn't mind because I, I listened to Murr's album you and I got everything I was looking at. I got you everything you I was looking for. Nice the album. Yeah. No, let me explain. Let me explain. Let's get off a knife, yo. No, no, no. No, no, I'm about to approach my Savage again. Okay, okay. Did you produce that whole record? Uh, seven out of ten tracks. And even the tracks that I didn't.
can make the beat for I it. Okay, you you, you yeah. basically no, we can do this, not that. Yeah, I I range. Yeah, he put the different track. Do the different beat. The beat you be trying to produce it. You produce it. Hell yeah. You don't know. Cause cause that's that's my thing. Like I I think I told you, Stanley. I just feel like I'm a. Wait, hold up. I just don't want to like miss credit. First of all, shout out to all the producers that that did uh, work with me, uh, such as uh, For Real Go On The Track. That's the one track that I pretty much did not touch anything on. Which okay. track is that? Uh, the, that's the track number four, uh, Trust. Trust. Other than oh, like uh, the interlude at the end, I produced that. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, uh, track seven, Society Won't Accept. Mm -hmm. uh, shout Classic. That was uh, my, my boy ASAP Sumo. He hit me up on the internet out of nowhere. And like, I I asked for the stems for a reason. I distorted the 808s to, to make it sound a little different. I completely re, not remix, but remix the beat so it sounded more like cool and like open and whatnot. And then uh, them, I co produced, like we were sitting in the studio. I like that record. I like that record. That record yeah. to me was the imprint of the whole, the whole title to me. Yeah, that was so cool. Before, before, before the panel, so I talk about that, I just want to say one thing about okay. uh, um, Your opinion is super valuable. Just letting you know. I just want to say one thing about Samar Sir. Um, I've grown to be a fan of his. Now, mind you, when I, when I, when I do music, I'm, I'm one of the people that I don't like nobody touching my music. I'm just one of those people. So when he touched what I'm made of. <laughs> Classic! Oh my god. So I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening, of course, of course a producer knows their music and, and they hear like the, the little bit stuff. Oh, okay. So when I heard it, I'm like, all right, it's not what I did. So I'm listening as I'm going on, I'm going on. So I'm listening to what he did. I'm just like, this, this like is one of my favorite producers locally that I know of. I, I was I was just telling. I was just telling um Jay Wonder this when he was at um. All right. Uh, I was him yesterday. I was I was just telling him this like Samad is one of my favorite producers locally. Yep. Because of what he did to my music. I'm just I'm not just saying that because you know just it's just, it's just what he did to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It took it somewhere I would never thought of, and the co the, the collab that he had that, that was on it and how he did it, it was just amazing. You know, with amazing. Thank you. <laughs> when Lil Stan asked me to do it, I he, he said, "But you can't talk to my father about it. It's going to be a surprise." And I was like, "Okay, cool." And then when you walked up to me and told me that like you never really like people touching your music, but you were happy with it. I was so happy about that only because I was like, yo, if, you, if I would have found out, like got a hint that you don't like people touching your music, I respect that so much that I would I would have been too afraid to even touch it. I was like, you know what? Nah, you got it. No, you, so, you, you took that track somewhere I would never thought to have did, and it was just amazing to me. So from that, I didn't hear his recent album, but I heard the album that you did Real, around that time. Yeah, I heard that. I listened to that, and I was, I'm a fan. Um, as a big fan of you. The first time I saw Samad Savage was at the New Jersey tour, the one they did at the in Montclair. I was there just like as their little motivational speaker. Yes, I do. I still would like some going out. Yes, we need some. We need Gil Campbell with Samad Savage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already Listen, my nephew would be like, okay, now I'm going to have some music. If I if I ever did anything with Savon Savage, my nephew would I would have made it now. That's but we like, making this happen. Stanley, get so, some. No, but when I saw him, when I saw him before, he had you had your keyboard. Yeah. And, and I saw you jumped around. I was like, he's a star. Like he, and and like. Prince like stars. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Relax. 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 I might not have an album after hearing it. I don't want to do it. We don't want to hit this in the ground. Go ahead. Let me 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 let I had um, there was only one song done mm -hmm. before.
before I came up with the idea for put out. So I, I, I could say it's a concept album. Yeah. I figured that. Bird, pick it up. Okay. Yeah, like so. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> now listen to this album. The title itself and the concept that I already knew was was gonna happen. I immediately loved it because I am one of those weird kids. Woo! Because I am the outcast, the one that misunderstood, the oddball, the, the 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 one that was never like you know what I mean? My brother is the opposite of that. My brother is the one that everybody, they see me and they're like, hey, where's Smoke at? Well, you know what I mean? They're not worried about me. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're asking for my brother. So um, I felt that like completely, like just the concept. I'm like, oh man, I already know I'm going to like this. So now when I start listening to it, I'm like, yo, this boy sound like he has all of the uh, of, of the current the, the, the current greats right now, which to me is like the the Kendrick Cole and Drake, right? You know what I mean? No, not Drake. Well, nah, 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 we, we gotta give him the props. He's not on the hip hop. Kendrick Cole and Drake, <laughs> all in him. Like he, he he's inspired and influenced, and I, and, and 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 a little kick up. I felt that. Little, that little, okay. Uh, and, you know what I mean? And I was like, I'm just oh. that shit. This kid Cuddy is whack. You smoking I'm dust. You um, are nuts. See, you but Kid Cuddy, but see, again, he proved my point. Kid Cuddy's an acquired taste for something. Yeah, because for me, not for all. You don't really Have you ever him. heard him hum? <laughs> Have you ever heard me hum? Nah, 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 Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Kid Cudi saved my life with his music. But with Samad, he gave everything that the current, like what is hot right now, what the kids want to listen to right now, and the weird kids like me want to listen to right now, he gave it. And he put it all out there. Not only that, but he gave the the the, the he gave something for the for the old heads that was that that loved that that just bar after bar. Give me just just give me your bars, your hardest shit. He gave you that in there, and and it it was just a compilation of every style of rap that you could think of. Don't put your hands on me. Don't yeah, put your hands on me. Is incredible. It was like, it was like, and that was another thing that I love is that how he titled every song. I'm like, oh man, that's, that's so cool. You know what I mean? It had a whole theme to it, a whole feel to it. You know what I mean? A concept, which I'm a big fan of. Yes, and, and a statement, you know what I mean? It was like, and, and that's something that me, again, being, you know, always feeling like misunderstood, outcast, or weird kid. You know what I mean? I felt that shit. So that was one of my favorite projects to listen to, and I still listen to it to this day. You know what I mean? So I had to give it up to you, bro. And as far as the production, I gotta give it up to you on that, too. That was amazing. 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 Bro. You wanna give you a hug, bro? Oh, no, 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 I was I got into like it. Yo. you. I'm sorry. Let me just when, when you first started talking about it and expressed like who you are and whatnot. Yeah. Like you, from what I've learned in the past couple of uh, the past, I guess two hours have been. What I've learned about you is like you're specifically who I made this album for. Like yes. you're the kind of per you're the kind of person. You're the kind of person. Yes. You you're really really intelligent. <laughs> so intelligent that like I'm like. I feel like I feel like to be the kind of weird that I was going for, you gotta have some flaws mentally. But you are too spot on. <laughs> but but you love yourself and you love who you are and you embrace who you are. So I feel like I made that album for you too. But like that's just I didn't when I went into this album, I didn't give a fuck about what excuse my language. I didn't give a fuck about what anybody 
was saying or doing around me. And that's hip hop. I try not to yeah. have any that's kind of influences. Yeah. Oh, and that's, and I said, I'm going to make this album for like, for who I was as a kid. I'm like, nobody's giving yeah. me criticism. Like, man. Can't wait. Uh, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm talking too much. Oh, okay, good. Oh, you say. Oh, we got criticism coming. Oh, okay, so let's get the criticism. No, nah, yeah. no, there was no criticism. Are you fair? Well, before no. we get, before everybody got here, I was screaming this man's praises on this album. Sure. Uh, when you before you got here, I was like, Samaj Savage should have been on Double XL's freshman class. He should have been, been high. No, he should have yeah. been on Hip Hop Head just for me. Yeah. No. 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 Complain about him, but you don't like you complain is not there. You're not going to get with this man. He's a young man who still gives you quality production, quality lyricism. The album is a concept album. When you read the sentences on the album title, it reads a sentence. When you listen to they order something, when you listen to dumb, when you listen to dumb, I was like, you gotta be kidding. My boy Chris, me and him were like, yo, this album is phenomenal. What is this? Why is this man not on Atlantic? Why is he not on Interscope? This kid is special. I'm glad you're not because you make it on your way right now. But my thing was that when I heard that album, I was so blasted. I was like, are you serious, this kid? I was like, this is a regular dude from around the way. This is a regular kid that is such a phenomenal, phenomenal official tissue. Yeah, the word. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the yeah. official <laughs> tissue album, the production. Top notch! Yeah. And I was like, I didn't believe when, until I saw the video of you climbing around with the production. I was like, wait a minute, he did all this production. He's doing all these beats. And I was like, and you know, I had to ask my mom, fed people. So I was like, you heard this? I was like, it's like, no, he's official. He's the real deal. Yeah, like, Yo, no, you know what's crazy? I was like, I was at this, I was at this uh, 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 competition show uh, the other day. Me and my brother was headlining because he won the last competition, the MC Cipher. And, um, and, and I asked somebody, um, one, one of the other MCs, I'm like, yeah, you know, Samaj Savage? They're like, yeah. And that right there made me realize, I'm like, yo, everybody done fuck, like, why isn't this guy on the fucking double XL freshman? Why why isn't all of Jersey supporting this kid? Like, he's no, so coming so talented. Coming from Heritage Hip Hop. No, yo, we he's all so know. fucking talented. No, bro. we all know. Castle really into Jersey Hip Hop, no. You're official. You, you, yeah. You're it. Yeah. You so, can't really, this really come, come, this no, like, come, I've been saying this for a while. It was like, yo, he's our next big thing in hip hop. But this, was like, this goes no, back to no, my whole this, thing yo. about about different uh, platforms having their own I want to warn you about not to get you not to get you We in. need that <laughs> unity, bro. We need yeah. that <laughs> unity where we can all get on the same well, page. Well, same that's same that's unity we have for that chicken sandwich. We need yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. 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 So, like, okay, so buy, 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 buy some Mod Savage album, it comes with a free chick food. <laughs> <laughs> And a Popeye's chicken sandwich together in one shot. No, but listen, what I'm, what I'm saying. Can't have what, come with the waffle fries. <laughs> what I'm saying is serious, though, man. We all need like platforms that Karev has created and other dudes have created for interviews and and, and events to perform. We Shout out to Ab One Uno. Yes. Ab One yes. Every day. Shout out to we, we are Jersey, Jersey. Turned up. We are Jersey. Shout out to A Squad Rebel Radio. Yes. Because, um, we all out of everybody, to... those are the ones who mess with us the most, and we're trying to do something for Jersey. But uh, yeah, we I'm, all shout I'm out saying, to Chief Bally, Bally All I'm saying is, yo, we all need to get on the same page and realize who's the true and best talented artists and so push and them forward. Them. So let's and support push, them. No, and push them forward. Yes, and support them and push them that's forward. That's where I come with my critique of that. that okay, go ahead. Oh, go okay. ahead. Here we go. That's right. where I come with the critique of that. It's a very, you know, guys like him are very dangerous to the industry. You know, that's right. Mm -hmm. Because what they will do is when they realize that you're not one of those guys that it's kind of like what Chris said a long time ago. When you're not one of those guys they expect you to be because of where you're from, they like to put you in a category with box. other, with, in this box. Yes. Because yes. you come out with this weird kid record, they're gonna say, oh, well, the next record, I hope is it gonna be like the, they always do, is it gonna be like the weird kid's record? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be like, uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then it's like, well, why, well, well, why, why not? Like. They always want they always want guys that are not trendy to be trendy. Mm -hmm. 
And that's, that's not right. cool. That's right. Especially, and again, like I said, weirdness has not been the most important part of, or in the eyes of, like they say, the hip hop, uh, 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 what's the word? Uh, Mm-hmm. <laughs> like the the the, the, the characters, they always the feel yeah. like when they hear stuff like that, they always kind of put it like, okay, yeah, that was a that was a record to remember, but that's where they always keep it, and that's not cool. Mm-hmm. And and for a perfect example of that is Lupe, like you said, your favorite rapper is Lupe. That's what they try to do to him. Yeah. Yes. 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 So what did he do? He the only thing I say about that is when you make records like that, be very very careful of the snakes that you have to go through the grass because what they'll try to do is they'll say, oh, we can make a same record. You can make the same record, As but it's gotta be it's gotta be a little bit more commercial. And then everybody heard lasers and everybody sat there and was like, what the what fuck was that? that? What was yes. that? Yes. Who makes single hand pop? No, no, no. But, 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 but that's yeah. where, but yeah. that's where. Not me, but, but the as an, as like, as an example, that? that's it, what they'll try to do. And when he figured it out, it made it, 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 it makes a, it, it puts a bad stain on everything. So my critique of it is just be very careful and mindful of the because you because that whole album is based on what we listen, what they listen to now. However, they always try to put these joke, these young jokers in a box. And some of these jokes don't deserve to be in the box. Facts. Yeah. So let me ask you. I, yeah. think, I think a big criticism, the only weird criticism I heard was well, when people were saying that you sounded like Kendrick. Yeah. How did you, it, when I heard that, I, I can't blame the voice. It's your voice. The same thing, we grew up with Sean. We had to grow up with Sean and Biggie. Yeah, Sean and Biggie. We grew up with that. We grew up with Joe Sinister and Redman. Let me Joe tell you the difference. Cameron and Dragon. <laughs> we had to, but so, but when I heard your album, I just felt, you know, I felt it was authentic in you. But I said, how do you face that when people when people say your yeah, album you sound literally kind of like Kendrick? Me and uh, uh Jay Wanna was talking about this the other day, and he was no no I heard people say I appreciate it, it. but but people yeah. say it. Yeah. But we was having this conversation. He said uh, what's, what's, what's he talks to people. He talks. <laughs> Maybe if I started talking like, oh, yeah, uh, what I'm saying is, we talk to people, like, if that, Kendrick has a, a little bit of twing, like, he has an accent. Yeah, it's not far. But, all right, hear me out, hear me out. I was talking to MJ one day about this. He was saying that he hears it from other people, too, so he can only imagine how I feel about it. And this, I had the same reply that I had years ago. Me, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, uh, J.I.D., we sound alike because we are all in the same age bracket. Right. Ooh. So we all grew up on the same hip hop. The only thing that separates me from Kendrick Lamar, I say, is because he listened to uh, Andre 3000 a lot. I was more recently put on to Andre 3000 as an artist. You sound better anyway. I'm going to tell you right now. Huh? Andre 3000, listen to me. Please, please, please. I'll please, pass. Please. He's not like Andre 3000. No, 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 no. no, no. I wasn't sleeping. No, no, listen. No, no, no. I'm saying this. 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 I'm I listen to Outkast growing up, but there's a difference between listening to something and, and then like really studying something. Yeah, 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 and no. I'm saying that. I was gonna say that. Oh, 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 oh no, 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 no. With, like, because because to be honest with you, mm-hmm. Three Stacks is a is a different. It's a way different way. Yeah. Like a way. Like yeah. like I agree with you. Mm-hmm. I listened to Outkast so much, but then when they did the Love Below, mm-hmm. it only took me to just to totally finally get Andre 3000 by listening to him do that last song. He's just going through his timeline. By his mind, uh-huh. yeah. And I'm yeah. sitting there and I'm yeah. like, yo, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Wow. I can see you doing that. Because yeah. that's because people's like, that's nothing new that no, you don't understand. He's descriptive with it. You can't write write that what he's saying in his head. Mm-hmm. The whole, oh, you know, we used to do dope in the we used to cook dope in a dungeon, but you know, we don't need to know about that. Yeah. So we're gonna keep on going down the line. It's but he's so descriptive with it, it's like Oh damn! I didn't know they was doing that. <laughs> I didn't know they was doing yeah. that. And, that, and that's where I—I I didn't mean to cut you off again. And that's where I got the—I love the whole fact of the sentence. I appreciate that, but I, I was saying that. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like Kendrick grabs more from. I feel like Kendrick is a combination of Andre 3000, uh, a little bit of Texas influence. I can't really say who because I don't—I can't tell. Um, um, and um, 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 Eminem. 
Yeah, yeah, I definitely feel like it. Nice. No, in my own, definitely. Oh, nice. But, oh, and now, in Lil Wayne. No, you know what, Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. No, no, no. Lil Wayne, for sure. And some big boy, too. Yeah. But, 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 but let me let me finish. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm inspired. I'm inspired by Eminem. I'm a Big Daddy King. Blue Bay Fiasco. Big Pun. If you put wow. the, if you mix my combination and they mix Kendrick Lamar's combination, the almost the same product comes out. So before I even heard of Kendrick Lamar, if you listen to my prior mixtapes, which please don't cut their ass, but <laughs> if you listen to my prior mixtape, I still sounded like Kendrick before I never knew who he was. Mm -hmm. And it's because we grew up in the same era, so it's, it, it, it is what it is. So that's a dope person to study. Yeah, so I just, I just, I just try my best to not let my voice out. Yeah, what was you about to say about Lil Wayne? I was going to say, hey man, fuck that. Ain't no way in hell Kendrick is influenced by Lil Wayne. I think you didn't hear the C4 no, milk mixtape? No, no, you didn't hear the C4 milk mixtape? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I did. Oh, I, 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 yeah. I had mixed the whole card yeah, of three. I, I, I don't think way. he did that because he was influenced by Lil Wayne. I think he did that because he's a good marketing person for business-wise. And, and, and him and Lil Wayne are cool enough to do that. But I think Kendrick, I, 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 I just think, I, I'm just saying, I think, listen, man, I listen to Lil Wayne. And he has soul records, but I'm 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 a I'm a MC. I'm not I'm not. Don't a, say Lil Wayne's not an no, MC. No no no, I'm not saying he's not an MC. No no. I'm gonna sit there and say that. But I will. But I will say. 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 But I will what, what I'm saying to you is that I just oh, feel no. that Kendrick Lamar is very, very much a student in the game, and until he says it out of his mouth, I don't think he studied Lil Wayne. I think he respected Lil Wayne's moves, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I respect oh, y'all. Okay, I see what you're saying. You know, I, I respect y'all. Little you're stuff saying. that y'all said. I'm gonna take back I see to the lab. I see what you're saying. You see, know what I'm saying? So, but, but, but like you yeah. said, you study Lupe. Mm -hmm. That means when Lupe came out with Kick and Push, from there you was a fan. Actually, it was the cool that You know, the cool that was what you want. Oh, 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 the song. The album was the song. You messed with him. The album was the song. The album was the song. The song 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 was Okay, so you like Chad Wayne? Yeah, 27th, I feel like that yeah, with Lupe. That's dope as shit. 49th, fucking Lupe. Lupe's a dope. I'm gonna say this because I remember back in the day. Lil Wayne is cool. I'm gonna tell you why. Wait, let's stay on topic. No, no, I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna The most experimental of my voice than I have oh, ever gotten experimental okay. because of that consistent comparison. So I kept trying to figure out what other lanes can I go in that hasn't been created. That's and I don't. I, I was just saying I don't think Kendrick Lamar. Not not to say that who's better or who's worse because I respect them as an artist. But I don't think Kendrick Lamar has a hook like they're on the song. 
I don't think Kendrick yes. Lamar has okay. a song like you're scared, and I don't feel like books. Kendrick I Lamar. Understand. True. I feel like you could say uh, Good Kid, Mad City is Samaj Savage's. Uh, I mean, uh, Kendrick Lamar's uh, society won't accept. As far as like concept driven and whatnot, but but I don't sound like Kendrick when I'm rapping like in that higher like that. yelling That's register. I don't. I don't. I can't do that. a song with him so so it's people can tell the difference. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh, Kendrick, what's up? You hear that, Kendrick? You better cut his jersey. Kendrick, you better be careful because he's going to my seven. going to outbar you. And you, and you know, he, you heard him say he's not fair. Yeah. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, Shamar Savage is going out bar. Yeah, so I heard got the ball. I'm going to say this was my only track that, 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 that I told Karev on Facebook. Oh, yeah. 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 I was yeah. like, um, but you don't sound like The only thing is that I don't hear Kendrick. No, I don't know where the fuck is. I don't know where the fuck is. Like you said, it's not. Like, I said, if anything, he sounds like uh, 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 like he signed the Dreamville, like one of J. Yeah, Cole's on Yes, he signed the Dreamville. I want to be on I said that, right? Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah. with, but I didn't I also say, so which, LLC sounds just which fine. Which isn't necessarily a bad yeah. thing, no, right? No, no. I said, because that's what's like, hot right now. It sounds like the time. Yeah, exactly. it sounds like the time. That's what you what's hot yes. right now. So yes. that's just him being him, what's, what's he, what he knows. So let me, you know? let me, let me pick, let me, let me back. Off of that. Yeah, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me get into this. Because hey, Ruff gets to talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how God works because y'all went to my two favorite projects and everybody else is going. Yeah, so, so we got now you get a really good thing. You get a really good thing. That's why this kept it. You know Everybody was getting like y'all our third favorite, our fourth favorite, our least favorite. Because why this kept yeah, we was trying to hold y'all down because y'all two was really all our, all, all our messages, we were all battle and, and, and that's what I said, it's now it's so, it's cause it's Gail is soul and you're hip hop. And I was like, how can you put soul and hip hop battle together? Exactly. You can't have one so up. listen, yes, I, I told you, I told you, to me. You, you two are the most recognized because, like again, it's just like Stanley if you sit on the show. He said, do what the fuck y'all feel. Don't sit there and be uh, a slave to what, every, everybody, what everybody, everybody, what everybody wants you to be. And when you come out, when you come out with an album like that, it's like, okay, I wasn't expecting that. So, look, and when you get people to do that, that's when you know, okay, now we're on to something because we don't sound like nobody else. So that's a good part. 